I am teaching you the truth of how this works. I could bullshit you and sell you a candle and tell you that you can manifest overnight, but I would be feeling awful about myself. I would go to bed at night and feel sick and think I am tricking people into thinking this is magic. It isn't magic, guys. It's what you are aware of. So you have to become aware of something else because you make manifest from what you are aware of. If you're new to manifestation, a lot of you either have never heard of it and think, what is this weird woo-woo thing that I can apparently do? Or you've learned from law of attraction people and got yourself fucking confused because all you've been able to manifest is blue butterflies or a free coffee and not really understood anything because they taught you that everything's outside of you and it had something to do with the universe or this or something better and something outside of you was having your back or deciding, which is crap, or you actually have delved into what manifestation actually is, but you're having a bit of trouble. In this video, I will help you. So guys, if you've never met me before, I'm Loz. Why can't I ever say that sentence? I'm Loz and I have had a TikTok now for almost three years. Is that right? 2021, 2022, yeah, almost three, almost. And when I started on here, I was just going to do affirmation tapes. I used to be a voiceover artist and I used to do, you know, like Bombay Sapphire, gin, only better, and stuff like that, right? So I was going to do, you are loved, you are chosen videos. That's all I was going to do. That was my plan, right? Then I just started flicking through the For You page and looked up manifestation, looked up affirmations and saw the most insane amount of bullshit being taught to you guys. I had never seen, and I have been around... For a long time. I'm in my 40s. But I had never seen bullshit like this. I'd never seen put something in, under your pillow, um, manifestation candles, moon water. I'd never actually seen any of these things. And yet, I had taken the piss out of those things in a character I created once on YouTube. And she was really into the law of attraction. She had oracle cards and she had a, a box in her room and she wrote letters to the universe and stuck it in because she thought it was the universe. And I took the piss, but I didn't realize just how bad some of the teachings really were and how insane some of them were, even though I had a character who completely took the piss. And I used to post this character in this Neville Goddard group that I was part of on Facebook, and they all used to just crack up because we'd seen these silly teachings. But I saw even sillier teachings on TikTok. So that's when the penny dropped for me, and I decided, hang on, I might have something I can help people with here because they're all getting fucking confused and buying $50 manifestation candles from fuckwits. So my first ever video on TikTok was, ask me your manifestation questions. Well, shit, that's how it started. And within a week, people were saying to me, can you please coach me? And I was saying, coach you on what? Like, I'm, I'm like, coach you as a coach about what? Because what I was teaching, thank you, darling, was different than what they'd ever heard. And what people had heard before was that the power was outside of you and the universe would decide and you were thinking of what you wanted, imagining it, and then letting the universe give it to you, or it was coming towards you, being attracted to you from somewhere, which is patently and absolutely not what's happening. If you understand what the word manifest is, and let me give you the tip, most people you're listening to who talk about manifestation have a very, very limited understanding of English language meanings, okay? So even though the word manifest has become woo-woo and manifestation has become woo-woo, there's actually nothing woo-woo about that word. It literally means to make seen, make known, right? Like my brother was getting on a flight the other day and he said, oh, I'm on the manifest for 5 a.m. And I said, why is it called the manifest, right? But he's like, well, what they know is true. This is what everyone's doing. This is the flight schedule for everyone, but it's called the manifest, right? Right? The words just mean what they mean. And everyone takes it to this woo-woo level of words that are very confusing. But what's happened is when The Secret came out, a lot of people started talking in this woo-woo language about alignment and universe and detachment and uh, letting go, right? And they started using all these phrases. And because that was the only place anyone was really learning manifestation from in the the public realm in a very public way was the secret book, then everyone started adopting that language. But if you actually sit someone down and say to them, what does alignment mean? They'd be like, oh, I'm aligning to the universe. I'm like, what's the universe? 
it's this thing outside of me that decides whether I get my manifestation. And how are you doing that? Oh, well, I think of what I want and then I let it go to the universe. Okay, and it decides, does it? Like it's got a brain. And then it's making moral decisions based on your behalf, whether it thinks you deserve or don't deserve this thing you desperately want. Oh, yeah, I guess that's what that means. Why would something outside of you be deciding? Aren't you deciding? Oh, no, apparently it's this thing called the universe. No, it's not. There's no point letting go to an entity outside of you when the power to manifest, to make seen and make known is you. So any teachings that have actually taught you about a process of attraction from outside or a universe that decides is so unbelievably stupid. Like if you really, really think about how fucking dumb it is to think that outside in space, there is this entity that decides things. Now, the only possible explanation I can understand that would would make sense that people would believe this is actually the universe is a very PC, non-offensive way of saying God. And because people have been taught from a young age that something outside of them called God makes decisions, then the universe is kind of a less religious, less annoyingly, uh, that's about God or religion, way of saying it. But people accept it because actually the kernel of the idea of God being outside of you has always been in your brain, whether you're religious or not. That idea has always been something outside of you. And yet that is also wrong. Because if you actually read the actual early translations of the Bible, the early works, no one really has those, but the earliest, it's not referring to God as something outside of you. And if it is in, is it if it's referring to itself in that way, sometimes it's been misunderstood. If you read the Bible, you will understand that the whole way through, it will refer to things in I am. It will say, I am the light, I am the way, or he is. When you read it yourself as the reader, and you write I you read I am, it means you. It's referring to the entity of the reader. So even though everyone thinks it's something outside of them, if you actually sit down and read the Bible properly, you will realise it's constantly referring to you, the reader. It's not referring to something outside of you. And it's trying to tell you that you are also the power. Yes, there might be a power outside of you if you want to believe that, but then it is also you. You were born in his image. Do you not realise Jesus Christ is in you? Test yourself and see. All these things tell you, I am God, but so are you. All these things tell you that you are the power. Now, whether you want to call that power God or source energy or whatever, consciousness, it's what that book is trying to tell you. And it's been misconstrued and taken over by certain religions and adapted to their needs, right? But that's where the whole universe thing came from because it's not anathema to people's brain to think something outside of them is controlling what's going on for them and deciding. But that's patiently not what's happening in the process of manifestation. Now I'll get to the point. The process of manifestation comes from you and the power is you. So what's doing it? Well, what's the most powerful thing inside of you? Your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is so powerful that it runs 90% of your body all day, every day, and you don't even realize it's doing it. If you did realize, you'd be so overwhelmed by having to have thoughts about what to do to run your body, you wouldn't be able to think consciously. So if you think about it, it runs all of your parasympathetic nervous system, which is like all of your breathing in and out, your blood flowing. You don't have to tell your body to do these things. It's already doing it, right? So if it's doing all that to run your body, it's also doing all that to run your mind. And your mind has got thoughts in it from a very early age, and they're still running. And they're running to keep you safe, to keep you alive, to keep you the you, your mind decided you are. And you form those beliefs from about seven years of age. So by the time you're seven, you've got a fully fully formed subconscious. Before then, you're kind of a sponge and you're, you're experiencing things from your parents and your caregivers and seeing things and feeling things and having thoughts and feelings that make you feel a certain way and think a certain way about yourself. So by the time you're seven, you're pretty much you, the you you are. 
And manifestation occurs from the you, you think you are. But unfortunately, as we get older, we don't know what we think we are. We just think we are that person. We aren't aware that there's us, the entity, the I am, the source energy, the God in us. And then there's also our thoughts. We think our thoughts are us. But if you go, if you go back to the very beginning of understanding what the Bible is trying to tell you, it's your I am. It's your powerful source energy, the thing that when you die is still alive, the thing that doesn't go away. Nothing is created nor destroyed, right? It's always here and it's always here, whether you die or not. And that thing is the power. And that thing is what you need to utilize and understand that that thing gets very fucked up by all these things, all these things in your subconscious mind. And these things are actually manifesting what you am. So your imagination, your mind power is so fucking strong that it actually makes manifest out here by a process of reflection what happens in your 3D reality. Now, I could get all woo-woo here about quantum physics, but I'm not a quantum physicist, even though apparently my videos get played in the universities of quantum physics lectures by two, one in America and one in the UK, apparently people have told me. But, but if you can just understand it very simply like this, everyone is in their own reality and your reality is created purely from your consciousness. Without you being conscious, you have no reality. So when you're dead, you don't have a reality you can see anymore because you're, you're no longer conscious. When you are conscious, you have a reality. That's it. And your reality purely comes from in here. And if that's true, then everyone has their own reality of their own. And yet we are all connected. And that is how manifestation works. Because if we are all connected through this power within us, and when we are alive, we are conscious, then you've got to understand that your consciousness makes manifest what's in your reality purely because you're conscious. I know this sounds really weird, but just bear with me. So how does it manifest? Well, you manifest what you are aware of. So whatever you're conscious of is what manifests, right? What you're aware of. But the thing that, that's tricky about that is people call it one consciousness and they call this um, conscious manifestation, because you've got to understand you're always manifesting and you're doing it unconsciously most of the time. So there's consciously manifesting, which is what you're learning from me, how to do it consciously on purpose. But what you don't realize and what most people don't realize when they're listening to manifestation teachers who are idiots, that they're always manifesting. So they start watching videos and the videos go, how to start manifesting today. Learn to manifest in 10 minutes. And the people go, great, I'd love to learn to manifest. And what they don't realize is purely because of their consciousness, because of their awareness, they are manifesting. They always have been. That's how their reality is actually created. Your reality is created from your consciousness. Oh, fuck. So I've always been manifesting because what is out here is actually my consciousness made manifest, what I am aware of. Yes. So then how do I change what's out here? Well, you have to be aware of something else. Oh, so all you're teaching us laws when you teach us affirmations or visualizing or scripting or any other technique, which aren't really techniques, just a way of becoming conscious of something else. You're teaching us to be conscious of something else. Yes. And then if you're teaching me to be conscious of something else and I start being conscious of, aware of something else, then something else, the something else I'm imagining will then manifest because I was unconsciously unaware before and manifesting shit before I didn't want. Ah, you're getting it. So the more you can become aware of what you are unconsciously thinking, the more you will have almost complete control over this mind of yours that is manifesting. And that's why when people come on my account, they get a little bit confused sometimes and they think I'm teaching healing or psychology or something. No, no, no. I'm trying to teach you to uncover the hidden unconscious thinking you've always been thinking that is actually manifesting your reality right now that you're not aware of. It's aware. It's very aware. You're not loved. You're not wanted. Your dad left and this guy will leave you too. 
Things never work out for you. Things always go to shit. What's the point? You may as well not even may as well not even try. When you're a kid, you're criticised all the time. You always do things wrong. You're a fucking idiot. That. But unfortunately, so many of you think that's what what you are. That's who you are. If you guys have ever read The Power of Now, Eckhart Tolle talks about one day he became aware of that. He was sitting on a park bench. He was feeling suicidal, and he was talking to himself. And then he heard a voice say, you're such a fucking idiot or something. And he went, who's that? There's me. And then there's this voice talking to me. Oh, so who am I then if there's this talking? And what a lot of you aren't aware of is what this is talking back here. That's what we're trying to become aware of. So we can change it. So it's making manifest something different out here. Because then we become consciously aware of something different. And then from our awareness, our reality changes because our reality is created from our awareness, either conscious or unconscious. So in order to control what you're becoming aware of, you need to know what you're thinking. Then think something different consciously, repetitively for a while so that this then changes. You can't just change it overnight. You have to stay in the new state of the new thinking for long enough for this to change. Depends how long you've been thinking it, how old you are, how much trauma you had as a kid, whatever. Dependent, that depends. It can, you know, some people can change it really quick. Other people, it takes a while. The key to manifesting what you want instead of what you don't want is really controlling this. And that's why I have assessments in both my self-concept course, A Kick-Ass You, and my love course, Worthy AF for Love, actual assessment, blind assessments. You don't know what it's going to ask you to test and see what you're actually thinking back here that you're not aware of. And what's really shocking is so many people do those assessments and then go to my Facebook group, Subconscious Laws, or my squad and say, holy shit. I didn't realise I was thinking those things. I know. That's the point of my account. The point of my account is you guys aren't really aware of what you're thinking because you think that's you. If you've become a girl who always thinks she's going to be left because her dad left, you're not aware you're even thinking that. You're not aware that when you get in a relationship, you've got this constant fear that the guy might leave. So when he goes to work and commits to work too much or goes away on a trip or spends time with his secretary, you start thinking, oh God, I hope he's not having an affair. I hope he's not leaving me. I hope he comes back, right? You're not aware you're thinking that. That's just become you. You've become that. You're not aware that that thinking from childhood that you're going to be abandoned is actually fucking you up. Then what you're doing is sending those thoughts out to your boyfriend constantly. You're going to leave me, aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? And then you're making manifest a reality where he leaves. So what I'm trying to do in my account, which is what I never saw on TikTok when I started, was giving you guys the ability to uncover that shitty thinking, like I'm going to be abandoned, things don't work out for me, you're a piece of shit, God, you're dumb, things never work out, you're not lovable, something's wrong with you. So that that doesn't manifest anymore. But what most people teach you is, Think these lovely things, lovely things, lovely things, lovely things. And you're going, I am loved. We've got a beautiful, happy relationship. He's so obsessed with me. And you're doing all this out here. And then your brain is still going like a tape running in the background going, yeah, he's going to leave, but like be fucking serious. You can say he loves you all you like and he's committed to you and visualize these lovely, happy scenes. But you know your dad left. So we know this guy's going to leave and we're going to spend the entire time you're with this guy when you get him back telling you how he's going to leave and we're going to look for evidence that he's going to leave and we're going to fuck this up to prove ourselves right, to keep you safe. So can you understand that manifestation isn't anything woo-woo? It's what you make manifest from your subconscious mind. So you have to be aware of what's going on in that fucking subconscious mind of yours to make manifest something different out in your reality. That's all I teach. So anyone that is so fucking dumb that they come on my account and say, you're teaching psychology, you're teaching healing. I'm like, bitch, first of all, go and get a dictionary and understand what the words self and concept mean. And then understand that all I'm trying to do is make you become aware of what you're subconsciously thinking. Oh, is that all you're doing? Fuck, when you were at school, you must have had severe comprehension problems. That's 
all I teach you guys is to become aware of what you're unconsciously thinking because that is manifesting your reality. And some people think I'm being negative. I'm trying to show you, like Neville did, that unless you become consciously aware, you will manifest a whole lot of bad shit. Neville used to say that and people probably got pissed off with what he had to say. I am teaching you the truth of how this works. I could bullshit you and sell you a candle and tell you that you could manifest overnight, but I would be feeling awful about myself. I would go to bed at night and feel sick and think I am tricking people into thinking this is magic. It isn't magic, guys. It's what you are aware of. So you have to become aware of something else because you make manifest from what you are aware of. No one can sell you a candle or give you some kind of placebo or tell you to put the water out under the moon and charge it overnight and then drink it to change what's going on in here. And if any of you have done that, I'm really, 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 really sad that you guys fall for that out of desperation because you really want to change your reality and you're not understanding. You had the power all along. You didn't have to stick water under the fucking moon and drink it. I will bring out something soon that will really explain this for you guys. If you're really confused, because I know I was, I was confused. And actually I was manifesting properly when I started, like manifesting consciously. I was saying, I am that. I am this, I am that. And I did it very successfully and got into a school that only takes 25 people a year and there's like 2,500 people audition. And I got in by saying, I am a student at that school, even though they said no to me, even though I was denied, right? And then I read The Fucking Secret and it screwed me up royally and made me not consciously manifest anymore because I started putting the power outside of me instead of realising I was doing it all along like I had been before. Then I spent years listening to dumb fuckwits like Abraham Hicks selling me bullshit, bullshit stuff about vortex and crap, stuff, something outside of me and not understanding the whole time that it was me. And then what I really wasn't understanding was I was creating a whole lot of shit I didn't want. I was trying to do it consciously and create good things, but I was still having all this tape back here running that was unconsciously manifesting my reality. And so I found it very difficult to manifest because this was still going and this was a lot stronger than the new thoughts I was having. So the aim of my account is to make you uncover what all this is back here so it's not stronger than what you're trying to consciously think. So you become the power completely over your mind. This is a process of having a disciplined mind manifestation. And if you don't discipline your mind, your mind will run you and your mind will just manifest whatever the fuck it likes because that's how it's working. It's been working this whole time. You understand? So one day soon, I will bring out a very, very in-depth explanation of manifestation that you guys can all look at and understand. But in the meantime, if you'd like to get my free course, it's called Everything You've Learned About Manifesting Is Wrong. It's on my website, Subconscious Laws. It's got a video and an ebook, and the ebook's very detailed for a short ebook about how this works, that it's not the universe and that it's you. Okay, guys? So go and get it. Oh, yes, it's free. Yes, it's free, guys, at subconsciouslaws.com. And when you join it, you get on my email list. And every week, I drop a laws lesson like this, but in written form. It's not like a sales email. It might have a link at the bottom about something that's come out, like manifest all the things or something, or something related to the email that might help you. But every Wednesday, I send you a laws letter. It could be about revision, revising the past. Uh, it could be about forgiving your specific person. It could be about manifestation basics. It could be about anything, anything I want to talk about that week. Then there's also my Instagram that has lessons every day, right? There's also my YouTube. It's got a lot longer content, a lot of really, really long detailed content. So if you really want to understand manifestation, you're a bit lost, go to my how to manifest playlist. And there's my very first video series that I did on YouTube, which kind of went crazy on YouTube on TikTok called law of assumption versus law of attraction. And just go and watch that one playlist and watch that first video and you will understand how this works if you've been confused by law of attraction stuff, okay? And then later I will have a more detailed explanation of all this that you guys can get. But in the meantime, just get the free ebook, free course. If you're in the squad or have done self-concept or waffle course, you get an email and squad post. What's this? Do I do one-to-one -one coaching? Look, guys, I've had a lot of people asking me this lately and I have tried really hard to not do one-to-one -one coaching for years I did do one-to-one -one coaching very full on for three months when I first started this account and it was so emotionally draining, I stopped. And then I didn't do anything or earn any money for two years, right? 
Then the only reason, the only reason why I opened coaching again was because people kept fucking asking me. So I did it in a very limited capacity in my squad. But when you do do it in my squad, you have to be a member of the squad, which is the private monthly coaching group for 35 bucks so that I can partake in the interview, in the actual video coaching with you. Now you can turn your screen off, but the, the advantage of doing it like that is everyone in the squad gets to learn from your coaching. It's really wonderful. But you can turn your screen off, change your name if you want to. However, I would say that, but my coaching the other day sold out in a minute <laughs> and the week before it sold out in seven minutes. So I, yeah, I do one-to-one -one coaching, but it sells out. So there's kind of no point me even saying, go and do one-to-one -one coaching with me because th there isn't any available, right? So in the meantime, the best thing to do would be come and join the squad for 35 bucks a month. We have mentors in there helping you. I go live in there every Friday like this and answer your questions. And the mentors also go live now every Monday and talk about the questions in the Q&A forum. You can ask your questions in the Q&A forum and there's also courses in there every month. Now, this was last month's course, Manifest All The Things, and it comes out at the end of the month. Now, this month's course is called Back and Begging. It's the ultimate Manifest Back Your Specific Person course. And you get it as part of your membership for only 35 bucks. And when it leaves in two months time or less than two months time, it will go on my website for a lot, 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 lot more. So if you're really stuck about manifestation, the best thing to do would be get my free course at subconsciousholes.com. You can also get New Year, New You, which will help you to start formulating your new self-concept. It's another free ebook there. It's like a workbook. You could also do that. That's free. And then come and join the squad. And also join our free group, subconsciousholes.com. But there's a lot of clueless people in there. If you go to the squad, everyone's got a clue. Everyone answers the questions properly, okay? All right, guys. Her self-concept course is the best way, yes. And if you can understand that all I'm teaching is your ideas of yourself that you need to change, then you'll understand why I keep banging on about self-concept because what you are aware of, your ideas of yourself, your self-concept is what manifests. So that's why I teach self-concept. So that's why I have a self-concept course, which is my very first course I brought out, which is assesses you, assesses all these thoughts. And then if you're really stuck on a relationship situation or manifesting back your specific person or relationship patterns you can't break, then get Worthy AF for love. And that actually assesses your love self-concept, your self-concept in love. They're my two major courses. Then there's lots of other mini courses and also the squad. All right, guys? The squad is the best thing I ever did. Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> guys, look, it's a real no-brainer to join because you get so much value and the mini courses are just in themselves worth the $35 membership. And you can cancel anytime. All right, guys, I'm going back to the top. I'm going back to the top for the questions. Wait a momento. I will get there. Hang on, where are we? Thank you for the advice, you guys. What are we talking about? I've been working on my self-concept, but my friends started being really horrible to me. I don't get it. So guys, sometimes when you start to change in the 3D, the friends who loved you being an overgiver and people pleaser and letting them walk all over you, you don't fucking like it and then start being mean. Have you ever seen those videos about when you start to level up, you don't have any friends? <laughs> now, I know that's a belief that people hold and that's an assumption, but it can happen when you start changing and becoming the person who's got a backbone or whatever. So it could just be that, darling. So just put it down to that and decide they don't, they're not mean to you and they're not horrible to you and they're lovely to you. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm manifesting being stuck. Would that make sense? A lot of you manifest it be, being stuck by talking about how stuck you are, how it's not working, how it's not here. Laws perfect speech. What are we talking about? <laughs> I love your vibes. You've changed my life. Oh, thank you, darling. Hang on, guys. I'm going to the top. I'm just a bit exhausted. Well, Laura, you're doing it wrong. What the fuck are you doing? Let me read your question because obviously everyone's trying to coach you here because you're lost as hell. Should I give up? Oh, Laura, fuck. Dude, fuck me sideways. Hang on. Where's her original comment? Do you think if you've been manifesting SP since breakup eight months ago and you were struggling mentally, you should just give up? Laura? Darling. I don't know who the fuck you've been watching. And if you've been watching me for eight months, you have not been fucking listening. Because for you to say give up, you're not understanding that you will literally manifest what you then do. So you're trying to manifest them with whatever technique you've been taught, either from me or someone else. 
Now, whether it's me, I sincerely doubt it because no one who's been watching me for eight months would ever write that. So I have a feeling you've just come across me or only seen my videos recently and you're kind of a bit clueless about self-concept and you're probably trying to manifest him, are you? You've been manifesting specific persons since eight months ago. So it sounds to me like you're doing it all wrong and you're trying to manifest him even though he is your reflection from all this shit back here that you're not aware of. So you haven't actually been changing any of this for eight months and you've been focusing on him and trying to change him and trying to draw him back, which is not what will actually manifest him back. And that's why you're struggling and that why, that's why eight months later he's not here. Laura, you need to come to the squad and for 35 bucks, you need to come and do back and begging. I very rarely say someone needs to, but you sound lost as hell. And if you're struggling mentally and it's been eight months, trust me, if you just watch the first two videos of the course, you'll go, fuck me, I've been doing it all wrong and wasting my life for eight months. Holy shit. Because in those first two videos, I teach you everything you're doing wrong. Some people have got really upset watching them because they've realized all the things that they've been doing that's causing their specific person not to come back, all the horrible thoughts they had about their person, all the lack of forgiveness for the situation, etc., and all the stupid techniques someone else taught them. Laura, I don't know who the fuck you've been watching, but you sound very lost, and I would highly recommend you come to the squad for 35 bucks and just stay in there for two months if you want to just do back and begging, and everyone can help you in there, and the mentors like Dylan and everyone who's helping you right now and Sarah can help you. Because you sound fucking lost as hell and I don't know what fuckwits you've been watching and if it was me, you weren't listening. But I've never seen your name before so I have a feeling it wasn't me. Got it? Loz is worth it. Oh, thank you, Jody. Thank you, Sarah, for all the gifts. What's this, Jody? Congratulations. What's Jody saying? I missed it. There's no such thing as giving up. You're always manifesting. Exactly, Jasmine. Oh, thank you, Jenna. Thank you, esoteric. Thingy majiggy. Cut to the end again. Laws changed my life and self concept. I was friend zone and I am engaged. Listen to this woman. Oh, Joni. <laughs> Congratulations, darling. Hey, <laughs> have you put that story in the group? Have I seen it? Hooray! <laughs> Wonderful girl. Your video on the beam was transformative. Love your work. Oh, thank you, darling. So, guys. Look, it's very hard to get much from a three-minute video or one-minute video on TikTok. If you're really lost about this, go to my YouTube. Go to my How to, How to Manifest playlist and then go to my latest playlist called Why It's Not Manifesting. And I did a recent video about things that you're doing wrong, about staying in the state, how to stay in the state, something like that. And in that, I describe how to keep your thinking right to manifest. And so many people have written the the analogy I give you makes sense. So go and watch that so this makes sense for you, okay? Self-concept course is currently 145 USD, but you only have a short time left to get the original price. Yes, so what's going to happen is, with my self-concept course, it's been out for almost a year, got released in October last year. And since I've released it, I've noticed quite a few questions that people have because it was only a kind of an intermediate course and giving you an introduction self-concept and assessment, tools to use to change your self-concept and then you change self concept. But people wanted more advanced teachings on it, right? <clears throat> and people have had quite a few questions about the assessment and what they do with their scores because they're so shocked by what I've uncovered for them in their mind. They're like, what do I do now? Now, I've told you what to do, but a lot of people missed that bit. So the advanced self concept course will come out in about two weeks. And within that, I will give you more advancement on what to do about your self concept assessment scores. So if you really want to get it at a cheaper price, get it now for 145 But if you'd rather get the extension, then wait or buy it now and you can buy the extension also when it comes out. We'll split it so you can buy the extension on top of the original course you already have. Use Manifest All the Things to know your power. Yes, guys, you can use Manifest All the Things to actually test your manifestation power. So this is a really great course if you're kind of new to manifesting because what Manifest All the Things does, it's on my website, guys, for 95 bucks. What Manifest All Things does is shows you how easy manifestation is, that you've been doing it all along and all you need to do now is to consciously do it. So it gives you a whole lot of little, whole lot of little tests to do to test your manifestation power and you'll feel afterwards like, oh my God, I can really fucking do this. If I can manifest that small thing, I can manifest my specific person. If I can manifest that thing that seemed, you know, maybe difficult, then shit, this thing over here, like getting all my money back when it was lost is not that difficult right? It will really give you a sense of your power. Uh, 
what's this? Hang on, let me go back up. So the girl I was talking to, Laura, what's the best reconciliation SP story you've had break up after long-term relationship? Laura, darling, I love you, but you need to go to my group. I can't tell you all the stories. There's thousands of them in there. Go to the free Subconscious Lives Facebook group just before you even join the squad. And now we're actually starting folders of like engagements and marriage and reconciliation and got contact and found a new person and, 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 and. Go and fucking read them. There's thousands of them in there. I can't fucking sit here and tell you. How do I know? I don't even see half of them. One time I looked in up engagement to, to look for the success stories to put in the um, on the website and I found five I'd never even seen or three I'd never even seen. Go and look in the group. When does it come available? What are you talking about? My, my well, this is available and my self-concept course is available. My advanced self-concept course is coming out, Jenna, are we saying 17th of October? So you can either get the old one or get the new one, which will have the old one plus a new one in it. So it will still have the existing subconscious course plus an extension. So if you get the subconscious course now for 145, you can just get the extension. You don't have to buy the two parts again. So you can start on the subconscious course now and then just get the extension on the 17th, right? And if you already have it, you'll actually get a discount for the extension. So it's probably a good thing to do to get it now and then get the extension at a discount price for the first two weeks of the sale. Hang on, strongest techniques to figure out those deep limiting beliefs and reprogram the subconscious mind. Well, that's all I teach you, Grace. That's what my entire account is about. Now, whatever technique I'm teaching you, and I don't really teach techniques, might be useful for you and not useful for someone else. So I don't necessarily bang on about techniques. All I'm doing is giving you tools to help you to change your subconscious mind because not everything is going to work for everyone. So some people might like using ask formations, like saying, why am I so loved? Why am I so wanted? Well, I fucking hate saying those things because as soon as I say the word why, my brain goes, yeah, why are you? You're not, you dumb bitch, right? And it doesn't work. Or I could say do revision, but you find, might find revision very hard. Or I might say visualize, but you might have aphantasia and you can't actually see anything when you visualize. So what I would ex what I would think would be best for you, Grace, is to sit down for 20 minutes and assess your thinking in silence and then write down every thought you're having and then circle a theme. Are there any themes here of like what I think of myself? And then you'll see what you need to change or come and do my self-concept course and do the assessment. And it will tell you what your self-concept is you need to change to then reprogram your mind. Understand? Your explaining is on point like always. Oh, thank you, darling. Well, I went a bit round, round about the houses explaining <laughs> that video before. But anyway, round about the houses, that expression. Some British expression I'm trying to say. Uh, hang on, guys. I'm going up because I've missed so many questions here. Hang on. I'm just go to the top again because sometimes I got I get right to the bottom and then I've got to scroll up again. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was getting to Laura's question. Love your top. Oh, thank you. It's the Justin Bieber Purpose Tour. <laughs> I, I didn't go, but I love Justin Bieber, so I found it in a thrift store. I love it. <laughs> love the Biebs. I used to hate him. Now I love him. I think he's so great. I think he's so fucking talented. I mean, I always knew he was talented, but I just love him. <laughs> I love his songs. Hang on. Hi, Loz. You are fabulous. Love your videos. Oh, thank you, darling. What if you're not always aware of your inner dialogue, as in the inner voice isn't super loud? Well, that's the fucking problem, Laura, and that's why you haven't manifested him back, darling, because you don't have any fucking awareness of what it is you're thinking that caused him to leave. October 17th is the one-year anniversary of a kick-ass you. Yes, that's when it's coming out. So we're bringing out the extension on the one-year anniversary of when I brought out the original course, okay? So Laura... Darling, the reason why he isn't back is because you're thinking all this shit back here that you're not aware of and you're trying to do these manifestation techniques. I'd hate to think what you're fucking doing. What have you been doing? It makes me sick to think what you might have been doing. Tell me what you've been doing, Laura, and I'll tell you why he hasn't fucking come back. Jesus. Not your fault. You've been listening to morons. Um... I think my self-concept was shocking before I came across LOA. Didn't realise until this work from past and parents' beliefs, etc., cetera, have made huge shifts. I know it's powerful. think I'm putting too much focus on SP. No shit, Laura. All of you do. When you come and do my back and begging course in the squad, you'll probably cry after the first video and go, fuck, I've wasted so much time focusing on them when all they are doing is reflecting me. I have literally wasted eight months of my life. Come and do it, darling. You need it. 
I hope the universities are citing you, Loz. Well, I don't know. No, what happened was Newcastle University or something, University of Newcastle, somebody was in a lecture and the, the physicist was showing my videos. And then another person in America said that their friend was in a university lecture and the lecturer said, this girl explains quantum physics properly, so I'm going to show you some videos of hers in an American university called... Oh, I can't think of it. What was it? There's two of... So it's really weird. So I'm like... So they both acknowledged me in the video, in the lectures, but I was like spun out. I was like, huh? I don't even think I'm explaining this properly. What are you on about? <laughs> but I think what they meant was they are coming from it at a very intellectual viewpoint and probably because I used to teach remedial English I teach things hopefully in a more simplistic way so that's probably why they were showing the videos because I'm teaching it like people are five <laughs> and they're teaching it like people are doing PhDs I would say that would be the reason I can't remember what the university was in America can anyone remember um hang on where, where are we Hi, Laws. Doing back and begging part two. When I get an old, annoying thought about my SP, I affirm a positive one, right? Look, darling, that's great that you're aware of the thoughts. The first genius thing to do here, guys, is become aware. When you've become aware of that old thinking, yes, then you throw in an affirmation or even just a sentence or a story or a rampage about that thing you just heard. Oh, he's never going to text you back. He doesn't really want you. Shut up, bitch. Of course he does. He loves me because I loved and wanted and I've always been wanted. No one wouldn't want me. Why wouldn't he want me, right? You can start rampaging or telling a story about the story you're telling in your mind or simply have an affirmation when you are aware of that thinking, right? Um, away and say the bad one doesn't count. Is this a good way to do it? Yeah, do it that way, Ellie. That's great. I've been working on my self-concept, but my friend started. Oh, I saw that one. Manifesting just is. It is, and you're always doing it via your dominant thinking based off your self-concept. Exactly, darling. I think my self-concept was, okay, I saw that one. What's this? How can I manifest money if my 3D shows otherwise? Guys, the 3D is showing otherwise for most things. Your specific person isn't back. They're fucking someone else. You haven't got into the university, blah, blah, blah. Some of you think that money is very different. Like, but I've got to pay the bill. It's the same with every other situation where the 3D is fucked up, okay? I don't mean to affirm, but it's hard to affirm when 3D is there. Well, then you're fucked, darling. Guys, the whole key here is to have faith in the unseen, in what you can't see, so if you can't have faith in what you can't see, I really can't fucking help you because you're letting out here throw you. I would highly recommend if you are thrown by the 3D constantly, you either get my manifesting money course called Money Magnet and uncover all your shitty subconscious thoughts about money as to why it isn't here and then you can manifest it easily or you do fuck the 3D, my other course, that really fucking helps you to not look at the 3D. In fact, I would do them together and if you buy fuck the 3D first or this one first, then you get a discount on this other one. Don't you, Jenna? You can buy Fuck the 3D at the checkout and then add this money magnet on top. It's like a bundle. Because you're letting it throw you and it will fuck you up. What would you say to do about constant negative, depressive, intrusive thoughts? They're not actually intrusive, darling. All they are is negative thoughts you're more aware of and they're annoying you so they feel like they're intruding on your mind. Guys, I had severe depression my whole life, really bad anxiety, panic attacks, etc. I'm not like that anymore, okay? The only way to get rid of it is to get aware of it. What am, what am I thinking? Sit down, darling, and do the same exercise I told someone else for 20 minutes, write down all your thinking, and then go, is there a theme here that's causing me to feel depressed? Is there a theme here of thoughts that's causing me to feel anxious or negative about stuff constantly? Fuck, look what I think. I need to think the complete opposite of all of this. So anytime these negative thoughts pop in, I need to now change them to the complete opposite. Nothing ever works out for you. Shut up, everything works for me. You're not taking over. I'm controlling this mind now. I'm in control. Mm -hmm. Go and do my anti-anxiety um, meditation on my YouTube, darling. It will help you, even though you're talking about depression, but it will help you. I've been in the knowing. SP is in love with me. Does this mean he's receiving the thoughts? Absolutely, darling. If you're in the knowing, they're in the knowing. Or mm -hmm. well, they're receiving those thoughts. How to change an unfavorable story. Guys, my face feels so juicy. Can I just mention, I've been using Korean skincare. I'm touching my face and it feels so moisturized. I love it. <laughs> It goes like, boop, you put the, all the toners and everything on your face, it just goes, puff. <laughs> it feels so moisturized. I've never felt so moisturized in all my whole life. 
I'm loving it. <laughs> I went crazy on Style Vana the other day and bought more products. Is anyone obsessed with Korean skincare like me? I'm like, oh, my face feels so juicy. <laughs> How to change an unfavorable story with my cousin when she's acting like she doesn't care, you think she doesn't care, so she doesn't care. Darling, you've got the story. Start saying she cares. Start believing that you're a person who people care about. Start working on your self-concept thoughts that are causing you to think that a person who's a family member would not care about you. SP deceived me. No, he didn't. You thought he did. I know I created it. Okay, good. I have business with him. How can I handle 3D? You have a business with him. So did you not trust him? You got trust issues and he went and stole money or he went behind your back and did some deal or something. You've got a story about I can't trust people, therefore you can't trust him and therefore he did that. So start saying, I can trust him. He would never do the dirty on me. He's my friend. He loves me. He cares about me. He would never, ever betray me. He puts everything right. So that. What's happening? I'm seeing. focus on you. Listen carefully to laws. Focus on you. Yes. Focus on self. Focus on the you being you that you want to be. Yes, guys. Yes, happy Thanksgiving, guys, in Canada. Hi, Loz. You are fabulous. Oh, thank you, darling. What if you're not always aware? Okay, I answered that one. Uh, just bought the course, Loz. Oh, wonderful, Jasmine. So, guys, when the extension comes out, you can get the extension. And trust me, the extension is really worth it. I have already filmed it. And there's lots of new exercises to do and MP3s to help you. It's truly amazing when you become aware of your bad thinking and work to change it. Honestly, Dylan, it changes your whole life. I did not have control of my thoughts for most of my life. It was a motherfucker. What's your thoughts on being in therapy and still working on your self-concept to manifest? Look, if you're working on your self-concept to manifest, hopefully you could talk to your therapist and speak to them about what I'm actually doing is also in line with what you're teaching me in therapy. It's just that I'm trying to think of a new hopeful future and trying to put new thoughts in. And you're probably going back to the past a lot and reliving my past. And I'd rather not relive it too much. Like I can uncover things with you here. But can we also move on to my new thoughts about myself to then change what I've become, what I think I've become, right? So unfortunately, therapy delves into the past a lot and then keeps you there. What I'm trying to do is delve into your past and then get you out of there into your new future, your new hopeful future. So talk to your therapist about it, darling. Um, 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 hang on. That's exactly what you did. Okay, Laura, well, tell me who you're listening to or what you've been doing. I can help you. Is this live going to be on YouTube? So, guys, yes. Every single one of these laws lessons with a Q&A afterwards is posted on my YouTube subconscious laws. So go to my link tree and go click on it. Also, all my original lives, I've been going live like this for two years on YouTube. There's two um, playlists. One's called manifesting live replays. There's like 300 lives like this with me answering people's questions and another one of YouTube lives. So if you just want to watch these, you could just sit and have a Loz binge, just have them running while you're doing work and stuff. And there's also all the other playlists, okay? Oh, thank you, darling, for the heart. You are not negative. You are the truth. Oh, I love that, Alexia. I yelled at someone saying I couldn't help them because I have my own issues and I said mean things and I feel like a bitch. Bad person for it. Don't worry about it, darling. Just revise it in your mind. Go back to that scene in your mind. Imagine you didn't say that and they didn't react that way, etc. Mm -hmm. Or just imagine they don't care. Can I manifest my SP now but a different man as my future husband? Absolutely, guys. Absolutely. Why, why can't you have one SP now and one SP later? I'm more aware of everything. I love it. Thank you so much, Oz. Oh, good, darling. Hang on, I like the concept behind your work, but your approach is abusive, calling people all sorts of names. No, darling, unfortunately, sweet sound. That is a trigger in you from childhood that you don't like the way I speak. Now, maybe you came from a yelly, screamy household or maybe you were abused. I don't know. No fucking idea. It's got nothing to do with me. You've got to understand that people like me yelling. They actually ask me to. I am like Marmite. You might not like me, but there's no point coming into my place of work and telling me how to run my business. If you don't like it, darling, don't fucking watch me. Am I standing in your living room holding a G-U-N to your head, forcing you to watch my tough love? I'm not. If I trigger you, that's probably something you should work on and realise that when someone yells or someone seems abusive, that's a trigger from your childhood that you actually need to change. I'm not abusive at all. I just yell and swear. If you can't handle swearing or yelling, I am not the account for you and I'm certainly not changing the way I speak or the way I teach when other people fucking love it and ask me to be that way just because of your sensitivities from childhood that you have not worked on. 
So go to the people who are very, very sensitive to your needs and blow hot air up your ass and talk very sweetly and don't swear and you won't learn jack shit, but you'll feel better. But I'm not changing for you, darling. And I'm certainly not abusive. If you're seeing it that way, that's your assumption. I feel like saying, you dumb bitch, but I'm not going to say that because you feel like I'm being abusive. But darling, aren't you understanding that's your assumption? That's what I'm trying to teach you. If you assume I'm abusive, that's your assumption. If you assume I'm not, that's your assumption. Listen when I speak or don't watch. Like you're not listening. That's your assumption that I'm abusive. I'm not abusive. You're assuming abuse by what you're seeing and experiencing from me, from your own mind, from your childhood. Somebody else could love it as tough love and see it as great. It's your assumption, darling. And if you actually listen to me, instead of having all the blinders on from childhood, I'm being abused, she's yelling at me, you would actually hear that that is your assumption that you need to work on. Oh, fuck, she's actually teaching me how to become aware of my thinking. And the way she's triggering me is actually teaching me something about me that I need to fix. That's what my whole account's about. That's why I yell. I trigger you on purpose, darling. So if I've triggered you, ta-da, you've discovered something you fucking will need to work on. Guilty of all the above. What are we talking about, Deb? I just keep repeating in my head, I should have helped and not taken out my anger on them. Well, darling, you've obviously got a story. You do things wrong. So until you stop beating yourself up, nothing's going to fucking change. If you don't like tough love, you're in the you're not you're not in a good place. <laughs> Guys, if you don't like the way I teach, what the hell? Someone went to Sasha's group yesterday and bitched about me in Sasha's group and said, You're turning your group into Loz's group. Why are you doing the same thing? And yet that dumb bitch is in my group and was like, if no one likes if people don't like Loz in here, you get banned. I'm just saying. And I I said, Love, you're in my group. You're in my Facebook group. If you hate me so fucking much, what the fuck are you doing in my group? Oh, obviously, you get a lot of benefits in there from getting your questions answered and reading all these success stories, but you don't like me. Fuck off if you don't like me. <laughs> but I didn't block her. I just thought, who's this dumb bitch? Loz, I'm glad I caught this live. Oh, darling. Guys, if there's psychic scammers in here and you're falling for it, I feel so bad for you. Loz, I love Loz. Gives everyone the answers, even if you don't do the courses. Listen, yes, guys, look. You've got to understand, I didn't sell anything to anyone except a $12 ebook because I ran out of money in the second year. I didn't sell anything for two years. Then people got married listening to my videos and I hadn't even sold them a course. I didn't have any courses. All you have to do is listen and listen and do the work. You don't have to buy a single thing from me and you will get your manifestation. Understand? Get my free course, guys, subconsciouslaws.com or on my link tree. Click it. It's called Everything You've Learned About Manifesting is Wrong. And if you don't have some awareness of awareness after that, I've done something wrong. Laws, I did the first part exercise back and begging and you popped up in my thoughts. Oh, really, darling? Poor you. I'm loving back and begging. It all suddenly clicked for me. Oh, good, darling. Hooray. Could I send it to you? I think I'll find it interesting. Send what to me? Guys, please don't send me your workbooks. I love everything you do, Loz. You are the truth. Oh, thank you. Uh, Loz, what if you're living in the end manifesting SP when you keep seeing signs of third party? What What if you're living in the end? Guys, it doesn't matter what's happening out here. They could say fuck off and die. They could marry the bitch. I don't care. It doesn't matter what's happening out here. You're thinking out here matters. Back and begging, part three, out on Monday in the squad. Squad has so many perks. Back and begging, make them obsessed. Q&A in forum and lies. Advanced coaching, mental Monday. So many successes, subconsciousloss.com. Yay. So guys, part three of back and begging, our course that's in the squad at the moment, is dropping tomorrow. And it's a very eye-opening video and exercises to go with it, okay? If you join now, you'll get part three tomorrow plus parts two and one that are already in there in the guide section. If you are in the squad or have done so or waffle course, you get an email and a squad post. What are we talking about? Oh, about, about coaching. But coaching sells out really quick, guys. Um, does reaching out to SP to rekindle things mean I'm stuck in 3D circumstances? Guys, you can do whatever you want. It's your thought behind reaching out. If you think reaching out means you're being desperate, then you're being desperate. If your thought behind reaching out means that they're not going to reach out to you, that's why you have to do it, then wonder what the outcome will be. It's your thinking behind. It doesn't matter what you do. I'm in the squad as well. I've done the self-concept course. I don't think I've seen an email. Yeah, so if you have somehow blocked our email or sent it to your junk list, you probably haven't seen it, darling. 
Uh, hey, Queen, currently in contact with my SP and he's becoming my boyfriend. Oh, wonderful, oh, darling. You did that. What is your opinion on listening to subliminals? I don't know what they're saying. Unless I know what they're saying, I wouldn't. I've got sleep tapes, but you can hear what I'm saying. When does it become available? October 17th is the new version of self-concept course, the advanced, but at the moment you can get the current one. That's got all the assessments, everything. Loz, you've changed my entire life. I'm so forever grateful. Thank you so much, truly. Thank you. Oh, darling. You're so welcome. That's why I do this job. Hi, Loz. Yet another live. It's 2.33 a.m. here. I need to go to bed earlier. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, I'm seeing the same questions repeated. Why are you repeating them? Guys, please don't repeat your questions. Uh, what's this? Back and begging is amazing. I also applied it to Korea and got two job offers this week. Oh, my God. Did you? Slowly working on my self-concept, and I can see some results already, but today is a tough day. Jeez. Well, stop saying it's tough. Say it's great. Loz, who else would you recommend for coaching? I'd love to get coaching with you, but it's sold out. Sasha. So you can do two-week packages with Sasha, four-week packages, or just a one-off. Okay, I am Sasha official. Um, 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 I have so much birds for land. It's insane. So much reflection of what my new thoughts. Oh, I don't know what I like. I'm going to go soon, guys. I was triggered massively by 3D old thoughts and got myself blocked. Mad at me. I knew better. Oh, darling, don't worry about it. Just get yourself unblocked by changing all that thinking. Uh, your video on the beam. Oh, wonderful. That's wonderful, Jody. Loz changed my life and my self-concept. I was friend zone and I'm engaged. Listen to this woman. That's so wonderful. Oh, Jody. Have I read the bloody story? <laughs> I don't know if I have. Um, okay, we're at the end. My new guy has asked me on a date tonight. If I go, will it affect my SP come back? No, guys, you can do whatever the fuck you want. You can be fucking 10 guys for all I care and still get your SP back. New here is SP meaning special person, yes, specific person. The only reason we say that, guys, is you've got to understand, you've got to become aware of what you want. And if you're saying X, then aren't you aware that they're your X? So you don't say that. Specific person. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. You can come and join me on YouTube in the chat when this goes live next week. It goes, it gets premiered next week. So come to my YouTube at Subconscious Laws. Okay, you can watch all my longer videos. Come and get my free course at subconsciouslaws.com or click the link tree. You can get manifest all the things that just come out on my website. And there's also back and begging the ultimate manifest back your specific person course. Part three drops tomorrow in the squad. The squad is my private monthly coaching group. There's so many other benefits. You can ask mentors the questions, watch Mentor Monday, ask me questions on a live on Friday, do the other course in there called Make Them Obsessed. There's so many fucking benefits. It's crazy for 35 a month. You can cancel anytime. And I'll see you soon, guys. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.